Catch the water if you can. Savera Foundation and Growth initiated an intervention to catch the water. West Simbum district of Jharkhand is one of the poorest districts. The villages are surrounded by hills and forest, but the irony is that people struggle 7 to 8 months for water. They depend on rain-fed agriculture and migrate in search of livelihood during off-monsoon. In one of the blocks named as Chakadharpur, a micro-watershed program is being implemented in five remote villages. Association for India's Development supported the program. Mr. Somnath Mukherjee visited the Quiltondang, Tuya and Sagipi villages. One can easily notice the two sides of the same coin, like dry land during off-monsoon and lush with greenery during rainy days. Meetings with whole tribal community were initiated in villages to make them understand their participation in minimizing the velocity of flowing water. Villagers decided to construct loose boulder structures. The team guided the community in constructing the loose boulder structures where men, women and youth involved in it. Before the monsoon, seven LBS were constructed. Happy to share that after construction of LBS, a farmer, Jokta Bankira from Sagipi village, took action to let water walk to his field. He cleared the drain beside LBS so that water could be flowed properly. His field is 80 to 90 meters away from the LBS construction site. Taking water to the field was not easy as the field was eroded in many places. He applied an innovative technique by putting pipes in the eroded area. The flowing water enters through the pipe and reaches 2 to 3 acres of paddy land. When other farmers were struggling with the transplantation of paddy seedlings, Jokta completed his sowing. By the end of September, the growth of seedling is healthy. In the month of July, the team also supported 20 farmers for multi-layer farming, as monsoon is the only source of water for irrigations. Farmers like Pradhan Jonko, Birender Jamuda and others cultivated vegetables and started selling them in the market. We have not stopped here. We have provided training to 15 farmers on fish rearing. 50 adolescent boys and girls supported with fruit saplings for raising nutrition banks. Our intervention continues.